Hello, this is Logan back with the Wisconsin Gravel Cyclist. Today I got a, hopefully got a quick little video here for you, just going over a topic that I know a lot of new cyclists uh, tend to, to question and ponder and think about when they're just getting in to the sport. And that's, you know, riding shorts and riding bibs. You know, one of the things that that happens quite frequently is new riders will, you know, they'll start and they won't have proper uh, riding shorts or bibs, you know, to, to give you that comfort on the bike. Um, so I'm, I'm going to kind of give you a progression here of different style riding shorts and bibs that I have used. So on the far left here, this is the first one. This is the, a Perlazumi short. It just has a standard chamois. These are these are clean, so you're not going to see nothing, nothing bad in here. But it has a standard pad in the butt of the of the short to give you some comfort. And for this style of short, you can expect to pay oh I don't know, you know, thirty to sixty dollars for a, a cheaper pair of of shorts and they uh they they will do the job if you find a pair that fits for you in the right size they will fit and they will work no problems no questions asked generally what i have found about a pair like this is that you can find them you can find them and they will be comfortable for the first bit over time they they do wear out uh over the course of a year or two that particular pair, I believe I've had them for uh, two or three years now, and they are starting to get pretty, pretty soft in, in the shorts, in the in the underside. So that that's just one thing to to keep in mind, and that's a, a Perlazumi uh, short. I believe it's their attack short. The next step up is a bib, and a bib will have straps that go over your shoulders to help keep the chamois and shorts in place. They will generally have, you know, some form of uh, material, sticky type of material to help keep the legs in place. Um, bibs are generally more expensive too. Um, and this is the Perlazumi Attack uh, bib. I've had these for a year or so. Um, in terms of the actual chamois portion that's in here, the padding, um, I find it's a tad bit thicker in this attack uh, bib than it is in the other short. Um, very comfortable. They do have, again, they have a, a sticky port there to keep the, you know, keep your 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 pant leg down. They they are sewed, so they do have a seam in there. I don't find that that has much of a difference. It, it, I don't find that uncomfortable. As long as you find the right size for you, I don't see that that uh, being an issue really. And I have really enjoyed those bibs so far. Now, the next question what a lot of people will ask is what's, you know, the difference between, you know, going from a, a short to a bib short? And as I was just saying, you know, you have the straps that you know go over your shoulders and it, it generally just keeps things in place better so the shorts stay in one spot um they're not moving around you're not having to hike them back up you know as elastic you know you you wear a pair of, sh of shorts whether they're gym shorts or riding shorts like this you know they have elastic and unless you have a a tie in the front that you can actually tie and, and cinch down on your waist you know you'll have possibly some some slippage of you know of the uh of the waistband which is is just normal with elastic so i have found that you know you step up to a pair of bib shorts it really starts to hold things in place a lot better it keeps the shorts the you know the bib shorts it keeps them in place they generally don't ride up uh too much that so or so I found as long as you get the right size, they're not too tight. They're not going to be cinching down on you too much, and they should still be pretty comfortable. And again, that's a sewed pair. They have seams. Both of these, the shorts and the bib shorts, both have, are, are sewn. 
uh, by ProAzumi, and I, I haven't had any, you know, comfort issues with those at all. And I've been, again, these this pair for two or three years, and this pair for just over a year. Now, just like any cycling product or any product out on the market, there's going to be different tiers of product. And that's what this is over here. This is the Perlazumi Pro Air Bib. Now, when it says Pro, there are there are some, some differences with this bib that set it apart from the Attack Bib. Now, the first being, this is not sewed. It is all bonded material, thinner material, you know, for racing, help you shed sweat better. Um, but it, the seam here by the, by the reflective, you can see it being reflective there. This is a bonded seam. The other thing, the sticky material to, you know, help keep it in place on your, your you know, keep your pant leg in place is finer. It, it, it generally does a pretty good job. Um, I was able to, you know, source these through Pearl Izumi. And, you know, so far, so good. You know, but at a, at a, you know, as the name implies, Pro Air Bib, they are light, but they are also very, very expensive. If you were to buy these, um, you know, go buy these on their site full price, they are $260 or so. They are not cheap at all. And again, they are they are a premium product. They're they're bonded. They're not sewn in uh, you know in all the seams. And then the other part of these these uh, pro air bibs is the chamois that comes in these is a lot denser and a lot thicker of a chamois, you know, for more comfort over time. So theoretically, they should they should last a little bit longer. Now. This particular pair of bibs I have worn once. I wore them on a trainer ride. Um, and so far, so good. I thought that they were comfortable. Um, I'm still going to do a, full, uh, a few more rides to see how, you know, to see how they, see how they feel. But overall, you know, so far, so good. But, you know, there are different tiers, you know, again, with the, the first tier being your, your shorts, you know, thirty to sixty dollars depending on, on sales and things like that. Your bibs, a lot of times they start about a hundred dollars. I believe the attack bib from Pearl Izumi is one fifteen normally, and then all the way up to like um, your pro tier uh, bib short, the pro air bib. Again, they, again they are expensive, two hundred and sixty bucks um, retail. I did not pay that for these. I can tell you that. I got them for a very good deal through Pearl Izumi. They were able to uh, to help me out with that. So overall, it really just depends on the level of cycling that you're doing. If you're riding a couple days a week, two, three days a week, there's nothing wrong with going to your local sporting goods store, bike shop, picking up a pair of uh, bib shorts, and, you know, making sure that they feel good and comfortable and then making sure that, you know, your saddle and everything is correct. And you're going to have absolutely no problem with, you know, a pair of, uh, of bib shorts. You step up to, you know, the bib shorts versus the shorts. You know, there's another added layer of comfort there. And then you start getting more serious about things where you're starting to do, you know, three, four, five, six hour rides this is where a lot of people go is to towards a pro style bib, something like this Pearl Izumi Pro Air bib. Overall, the difference between these really is in the eye of the beholder. Would I say that these Pro Air bibs are worth the hundred and fifty or so dollars more than the Attack bib? No, in in at my level that I ride at, doing local gravel races local group rides on the road, it is not worth it for me to go spend that much money on a pair of bibs if I can't get them on some sort of sale or get them, you know, for the use of my channel here. So overall, each level has something that the other doesn't. And 
it all depends on your riding and what you're going to do. So I hope that this, you know, gives everyone a good idea of different, uh, you know, riding shorts and riding bib shorts uh, and what an individual may need for riding. I'll, I'll try to do a little section on uh, jerseys and things like that too. But, you know, there's a lot going on here with the Wisconsin Gravel Cyclists for 2023. There will be a big announcement coming up in the next couple of weeks here. There's some really, really exciting things that have happened and developed for myself and, and the channel. And I'm excited to share that with everyone. So please like, share, subscribe. Everything helps. I, I really appreciate the views, the the. The wheels here, that was the last video that you guys watched. That was received great. I really appreciate the likes on that. Thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, have a great day, everyone. Looking forward to uh, to sharing some great news with you in the, in the coming weeks.